Hi, my dear children. How are you? So, what have we discussed in the last class? Yes, we were discussing our story, the story of a little match girl. And a girl was there, a little match girl. She was selling match boxes, and it was a New Year's Eve. It was the last day of that year, and she hadn't sold any match boxes that day. So she was afraid to go home. She uh, she was afraid that she would get a beating from her father. So she was wandering. She was walking through the snow and she was shivering with cold because she only had cotton clothes. She doesn't had any woolen clothes and she was hungry. She wanted some warmth and hot food. Do you remember this much? Yes, this much we discussed in the last class. Now moving on. Take page number 12 in your textbook and third paragraph. She pulled out a match and struck it. It gave out a small orange glow. It had a small flame. But what a strange light it gave. The girl felt she was sitting in front of a lovely warm stove and was warming herself at the stove. Suddenly the match went out and there was no glow. There was only the darkness. The cold and the burned out match in her hand. So what did she do? She pulled out a match. She had match boxes with her. She pulled out a match and struck it. And in that light, in that uh, vision, in that glow, in that flame, she saw, what did she saw? She saw a warm stuff. And she uh, match, uh, she, uh, she lighted a match box, a match stick. And in that light, she saw a stuff, a whole stuff. But suddenly, when the match went off, the match stick went off, this vision also went off. She struck another match, it burned bright and she could clearly see a table laid with beautiful china and with white table, table cloth and spotless white napkins. So she struck another match, another match stick and now she saw a beautiful table and with china. What is china? China is something, some uh, beautiful material, white color material is china. China and a white tablecloth and spotless white napkins and best of all was the food. The little girl stretched out her hand to the food and the match went out with a sizzle. Poor child, nothing could be seen but the old brick wall and the steps of the house where she was sitting. So she struck another matchbox and in that light, in that glow, she saw beautiful dinner set up on a table. Beautiful dinner set up on a and she was very hungry. She saw food items and she stretched out her hand to catch the food. But what happened? The flame went off. It put off and nothing could be seen. She struck yet another match. Visions of a Christmas tree rose before her eyes. It was the most beautiful Christmas tree. It was full of presents. Next to the tree stood her own dear grandmother. The only person who had never ever been kind to her and who was dead now. So she struck another match and what did she see now? A beautiful Christmas tree and her grandmother who died back, who died a long time back. And the only this grandmother was kind to her and she died. This grandmother died. Now she sees in this vision her grandmother. Granny cried the little girl. Take me with you. Oh, please take me with you. Don't go away like the hot stuff and the beautiful dinner. So, this girl, first she put us, uh, struck a match, match stick and she, stole the, uh, she saw the stuff. Then secondly, she put a match stick, uh, she struck a match stick and she saw beautiful dinner. All this went out with the flame. Now, on the third flame, she is seeing her granny. And she wanted her granny to be there with her. And the little girl struck more and more matches for she wanted to keep her granny with her. The matches blazed brighter and brighter and her old grandmother took the little girl in her arms. Up and up and up they flew until they were with cold and would never know hunger or cold again. So what did she do? She struck matches continuously because she didn't want to get the flame off, flame put off and she wanted to be with the grandmother. And this grandmother took this girl in her hands and flied away. 
the dawn of a new year shone on a little girl with rosy cheeks who lay huddled on the steps of a house frozen to death with a smile on her lips she was still holding the matches and half a packet had been burned so what happened the next day next day dawn next day morning the new year shone and everyone people came there and they saw this little match girl being died she was frozen but she had a smile on her lips she was trying to warm herself said the people with pity but no one knew what beautiful visions the girl had seen and how she had entered heaven with her grandmother in the joy and gladness of the new year so this people they saw match boxes bad match boxes had been struck though so they said she was trying to warm herself and now but no one knew she happily went with her grandmother is that clear for you okay so i'll send you the notes you have to write the notes and come uh, enter the zoom we will discuss the questions in the zoom section okay